ratios in similar shapes. This video created by MathGPS is for Texas 8th grade math and correlates to the Common Core standards for 8th grade as well. Similar shapes have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size, and the following properties. Corresponding sides are proportional. That is, the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. Consider the two right triangles shown. They are similar. We write triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF using the symbol for similarity. Consider side AB of the larger triangle and corresponding side DE of the smaller triangle. The similarity statement shows the line segment endpoints in the same positions as shown in blue. The side lengths can be written as the ratio 15 over 6. If we simplify the ratio, it is renamed 5 over 2. Now consider side BC of the larger triangle and corresponding side EF of the smaller triangle. The similarity statement shows the line segment endpoints in the same positions as shown in green. The side lengths can be written as the ratio 25 over 10. If we simplify the ratio, it is renamed 5 over 2. Finally, consider side AC of the larger triangle and corresponding side DF of the smaller triangle. The similarity statement shows the line segment endpoints in the same positions as shown in red. The side lengths can be written as the ratio 20 over 8. If we simplify the ratio, it is renamed 5 over 2. In similar figures, the ratios of corresponding sides are equivalent. The second property of similar shapes is corresponding angles are equal in measure. Angle A in the larger triangle corresponds to angle D in the smaller triangle. Each is a right angle measuring 90 degrees. Angle B in the larger triangle corresponds to angle E in the smaller triangle. They each measure 60 degrees. And finally, angle C in the larger triangle corresponds to angle F in the smaller triangle. They each measure 30 degrees. Now let's look at some problems. Problem 1. Figure 1 and Figure 2 are similar triangles. Which proportion must be true? The correct answer is choice B. The corresponding sides are named in the proportion correctly. Problem 2. Figure 1 and Figure 2 are similar quadrilaterals. Based on the markings, which proportion must be true? The correct answer is C. The corresponding sides are named in the proportion correctly. Problem 3. Figure A, B, C, D, E is similar to figure F, G, H, J, K. Which proportion must be true?
The correct answer is choice A. The corresponding sides are named in the proportion correctly. Texas 8th grade students must understand the properties of similar figures. This video was produced by MathGPS and may be downloaded free from our website. Thanks for watching.